Um, hello, so my name's uh, Robert Truscott and we're here at the offices of uh, the House Rosotrudnicestvo at the 70th uh, anniversary commemorations of the Battle of Stalingrad. And um, my offering for the commemorations is um, a piece of sculpture that I've uh, taken about a year to make. And um, this piece actually won a prize at the Mal Galleries last year. Uh, this has been my first opportunity to, to exhibit it since that prize. And um, it's a fitting, I think, memorial to the experience uh, suffered by the ordinary soldier um, during that battle. Um, my actual emphasis here is on the um, Wehrmacht prisoners of war who um, numbered around 100,000 prisoners, which was the first major defeat of the um, Nazi armies. Um, that's a difficult area to deal with because of the, the racial policy of that war and the cause that they were fighting for. However, I feel strongly that the ordinary conscripted man you know, shouldn't be condemned you know, too widely and that it's perhaps time that their defeat was also shown in human terms. Um, I don't know of any uh, memorial that exists uh, showing the, that, that war experience made by a Western artist. So it's quite an interesting contrast that somebody from England uh, 70 years later has actually made something which re perhaps relates more to Russian culture than our own war experience. But collectively, as allies, the um, Battle of Stalingrad has a worldwide significance. So these pieces basically, if I can take you along them, um, show, it's basically 15 figures that sh each man I tried to display as an individual. Um, he would be a high-ranking officer lucky enough to get a sort of German-style rabbit fur hat, uh, felt boots, but most of the rank and file unfortunately had a thin great coat and leather boots with hobnails. So obviously the hobnails would have conducted cold up through the feet, so they had to resort to winding blankets and cloth around their feet. So there's a sort of interesting play on the feeling of defeat, but also that feeling that Napoleon's army would have looked the same. So this piece often gets called retreat from Stalingrad, and of course there was no retreat, but that's a play on, that's people's memory, collective memory is about the retreat of Napoleon from Moscow, and if this army had retreated they wouldn't have been in this condition. So these men are incarcerated for the next ten years in, in Soviet prisoner of war camps. That's, that's their fate. Um, so they're basically, he's um, obviously an officer. Uh, this chap here has got actually been lucky enough to get the Winter Parker two-piece, which is basically a forerunner of more modern winter uniforms. Um, I think that really, basically, the end of it becomes perhaps a little bit biblical, the idea of the helping or the prodigal son returning. That was my sort of idea there because each man is quite involved in their own fate. They're not interacting with each other. Perhaps the chap smoking is, and these two obviously are. So basically that, that's the whole piece. And I'm hoping to get it to a venue, perhaps um, outside of England, maybe Germany, maybe Russia, uh, and cast the, an edition in bronze as well. Okay? Thank you.